What's up guys? Welcome to our conversation on cat versus mono. And that's how it's done. Do we ever even like check our camera settings or alone like watch it back? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is quite clearly no. I've been doing all sorts of introductions in the last time. We are covering a very heated topic today. Very heated. It is the classic debate of catamaran or monohole. <laughs> the dinghy dog. Oh, uh, is that? No. Excusez-moi, pour acheter du descense. Descense? Oui. Station. Là-bas? Il faut, il faut aller en rapide. Ah, là-bas. Ah, là-bas, au fond. Merci bien. Merci. Ah, c'est ça. Je ne sais pas si on va laisser le dinghy. Yeah, there's a little something. I don't want to go into a shallow boat. I can stay, or you can stay in the dinghy. Or we've got to get off and not scratch the dinghy. I don't want to damage it. Maybe if it was ours, but there's no, there's no way to land. Yeah. Underneath the water. Yeah. So there's a service station just across the road, and we've just like tied up to like a random bit of concrete. Unleash us. Mission on. accomplished? Mission accomplished. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Alright, so should we go to the other dinghy dock? Yeah, tie up properly yeah. and go and have a little walk. Yeah. I think it will just like, you know, they've got work to do, we'll give them a couple of hours uh, to get their work done. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. I know that yeah. I've been leaving you with questions. So yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with this place. I think sometimes it's nice to just be, to be lucky enough in life. And let's just call it, you know, we are supremely fortunate to be able to have the time, the resources and the inclination to go at very short notice, right, we're going to, we're going to the South Pacific for a, a week's filming with some friends. Yeah. You know, like literally, I must have been particularly good in a past life <laughs> or there's gonna be hell to pay in the next one or, you know, because, at some point it all comes tumbling down. But, oh, uh, that's not a very... I know, it's just a kind of calm yeah. view of the world. But look, as I said, we've been here two days now. It is like stunning, stunning. It is nice and novel to come away from even Australian summer, which is like crazy hot, to be in the kind of the humidity of the tropics mm. in summer. We've been, on, we've been with Nikki and Jason for what, two days now? This is our second day with them just to the point of view of the amount of fresh air that's getting through the boat compared <laughs> to our boat. Absolutely. I'm actually, like, when we were in um, the Caribbean, which we were for two years, 
I don't know if this is too much information or if anyone's even interested, but I'm just going to tell you anyway. Like, I could not sleep with any kind of sheet on or anything. Like, we were both sleeping, like, with minimal clothes, if any clothes at all. Fans going full tilt, like, it's hot. You're just always hot when you're in bed. In fact, when you're anywhere. And on Nikki and Jason's boat, it is uh, the wet season, so it is humid. Um, it is very tropical. It's hot during the day. And yet, so comfortable uh, temperature wise. Like, you've got a big hatch above you, you've got a couple of hatches on the side, you've got a really nice airflow. Don't you think that cabin is so comfortable, Nick? I also think there's um, a case to be made for. Look, it's, it's very easy for us to say, look, we seriously want a catamaran. We're looking down this line, so we're trying to get the pieces to fit. This, for me, kind of validates air movement. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think we the, 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 the climate here is as it was in Antigua in, in as you know as we're coming into the humid the hot season. So that there is any difference, and we are far cooler here with that boat. Yeah. This water is just insane. Do you think? Oh, it's like Bahamas. Oh, it's spectacular. like a moment like I feel like I've just stepped into like an alternate universe you have we're dinging up to SV curiosity we're just we're still in Adelaide <laughs> this is all a dream the TV watching the cricket I talked to my accountant about this he was bloody useless because he's a dent he's a I'll film for a bit so that I don't get caught on film discussing taxation <laughs> I just want to make it abundantly clear, this is the most unprofessional filming I've ever seen in my life. Hello. You go, go for it. You, you can film him. You <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> So you got a chore to do. I, I love chores, babe. I know you do. Jason's been saving them all up for us to get He's here. He's got a wire brush and some uh, vinegar. I'll get all the rust off the screws. <laughs> what? My boat's perfectly clean. <laughs> We've had a lovely day so far and now we're just having a little rest. Aren't we? Just chilling out on board. It's my curiosity. Good evening. Good evening from the Saloon of Curiosity, SV Curiosity. This is really just an interlude because Teresa and I have had a beautiful day. We've had a lovely day. We've sat on deck. We drank gin. We went snorkeling. And that's been a really good day. Like if this was a holiday, if this was a charter, we'd be like, this is super good. Yeah. But the reason I'm putting this out is because like our hosts, like Jason and Nikki, literally Jason was up at 6 a.m. this morning 
working on his edit for their latest episode, which we've just been given the privilege of previewing, and it's pretty awesome. But, and I'm just gonna kind of pan around here. They've got their TV there, they've got their workstations there. Say hi to the camera, guys. <laughs> You're lucky it's not smell <laughs> He smells good, like little flowers with a little bit of coffee, and kind of, it's like musky coffee, I think. It? Musky. It's a mu musky coffee. That was his nickname in college, by the way. Um, but you know what? They, for all of us that are YouTubers and these guys are like being o o overly fanboy on my part, they are really kind of like, you know, we looked up to them years before we met them. But the point is that they have worked all day long. They're in this island paradise. They worked all day long with limited resources. And when I say limited resources, yeah, of course we've got boats and those boats allow us to kind of like go around the world, but electricity is scarce, water is scarce, and more importantly, internet is scarce. So like now, um, it's, it's now what? 8 p.m., 9 p.m. They've been working 15 hours solid on this edit. And they didn't start it this morning. It was like at its end this morning. So like they've been working 15 hours on this and they've now got to spend all night getting the kind of like piss poor internet to work and get it all uploaded. So yeah. just a little behind the scenes really from us about like what's involved. So the next time one of you says, why aren't you uploading in 1080? Why aren't you uploading in 4K? Why is our episode late? You know, why is this happening? Why didn't you do this? Just take a little bit of time to realize that it's not just about, like we don't just sit there and go, let's have a gin and throw something together. I do. <laughs> but as you can see from like when my edits are really look like someone who got dressed in the dark and missed. Like that's my editing style. These guys are like- Professionals. Pro properly professional. Yes. So try to kind of like see that it is, yeah. it is a lot of work. Anyway, that's us. Um, from the saloon of SV Curiosity, one cat's passed out, <laughs> this cat's doing the washing up, this cat's going to get another beer, and these two cats, I'm going to make them a well-deserved drink. So there you go. Good night. I hear it's where Teresa gets drunk and naked. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert! I'm going to be getting us out of this anchorage. Yeah, please don't rank my boat. I'm not allowed to do anything. I'm not allowed to film. I'm not allowed to talk. Your drone master and witty commentary. That's your job. Right now, you're failing miserably. Nicely done! Oh, my heart rate's like I'm out, like I'm like a scared rabbit. <laughs>